The University of Pennsylvania president who had come under sharp criticism after her testimony on Capitol Hill on anti-Semitism has resigned. She had declined to say that a call for genocide against Jews violated the university's code of conduct. Details now from ABC's Phil Lipoff. Tonight, just days after her widely criticized testimony before Congress, embattled University of Pennsylvania President Liz McGill has voluntarily resigned, saying in a statement, it has been an honor to work with our faculty, students, staff, alumni, and community members to advance Penn's vital missions. On Tuesday, alongside the presidents of Harvard and MIT, responding to questions on anti-Semitism, it was this stunning exchange that prompted calls for her to resign. I am asking specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. Hours after that testimony and bipartisan backlash, this apology. I was not focused on, but I should have been. The irrefutable fact that a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. Since the October 7th Hamas terror attack on Israel and Israel's bombardment of Gaza, tensions flaring, especially on U.S. college campuses. Since the start of this school year, the Anti-Defamation League says 73% of Jewish college students reported experiencing or witnessing anti-Semitism on campus. Less than half say they feel safe on campus. And Phil Lipoff is back with us now. Phil, you're learning more about the Department of Education widening its investigation into anti-Semitism on college campuses? Exactly what the Department of Education has opened up investigations into 10 universities and colleges. Now the University of Pennsylvania and Harvard are among them. These are schools where students report high incidents of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. Wait. Phil Lipoff tonight, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.